here's the link again. Oh, the link to the, the conspiracy theory? Thank you. This is an hour long. Oh, I thought this was 30 minutes. Oh my God. Ah, this is so long. It gets crazy in the first seven minutes. Let's just check the first seven minutes and see how it goes. All right, let's get to this conspiracy theory react Andy shite. And if Over it's bad, the last few we play Doom. Years, we have warped our own history. Our stories of the past have been changed. Well, quickly for context, Moon Truther or for something else. Is this video Weird Champ or is this video exposing Weird Champ people? The video was about a conspiracy. I thought it was more mythology. I don't know. Someone recommended it. That's just the video. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you think God stays in heaven because he too lives in fear of what he created here on earth? That's how I feel about my Twitch chat. With the curve on the procession of the equinox. Modern views of our history account for many things, but completely dismiss many very important pieces in the puzzle. For example, the pyramids of Giza. There is no modern theory that accounts for how these could have been made. Individually, each... That's not true, right? That's just not true. They're like modern, uh, even Stone Age engineering, it'd be very easy to make the pyramids of Giza. Block cannot be pulled even with 50 men pulling it, let alone drag it for hundreds of miles and then stack them on top of each other 450 feet in the air in such a precise way that even modern technology can't achieve. Not to mention having it lined up precisely with both Orion's belt, a golden mean and Fibonacci spiral and be a primary nodal point of every sacred site on the planet. It's a primary nodal point, chat. See, that's where, at first I was thinking like, come on, like uh, this, this is probably not true. And then he told me it was a primary nodal point. Mm, yeah, and that's yeah, just yeah, one yeah, example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our history is not what we think. Many things that we've been led to believe to be true simply is not. Many ancient There's cities masonry such as Babylon, work that can't be replicated with today's masonry. What does that, that mean, Bryce? Space the Bible and other ancient texts Damn were always thought to be I'm myths confident we no could replicate anything. Exist. The tablets were completely covered in text written in I mean, in if I can 3D print a butt plug in my own home, I think we could fucking do any kind of masonry. Let me shove this up my ass for a hundo bomb chat. One second. Oh, the history of the earth and the origins of the human race in great detail. Now, the first thing we all want to do is just say that they were making things up. They didn't know the history of earth and they were simply creating tales to explain yeah, where they came from. does not cite a single thing. However, if this was true, how can we explain how they knew so many things about the universe that would seem impossible to know? Not only did the Dogon did I say know that all I about the distant planets and the solar but the fact that I can. They described them all in great amazing. detail in these Sumerian records. They also knew about the procession of the equinox. That's a tough one for a historian to understand because it takes over 2,000 years of continuous observation to actually learn that the Earth has a wobble. The Sumerians had this information from day one of their civilization. Not only that, but Thoth has also shared information about this Thoth? with us and his account matches the Sumerian records. Adamus and other channelings discuss it as well. If you see all of these records and sources, there is a huge connection between the stories. We are, however, going to be picking up the story How does the Thoth end of share info? and with discussing his bird the events mouth, of Atlantis Come up on. to present day. What I'm going to tell you is a mix of what these records say, along with what Thoth has told some us for some finer Thoth, details. Sorry. Please have your own Thoth. experience while watching this. I'm not going to tell you that this is fact. I am simply saying, decide for yourself. Mm, I will decide for myself. We were I'll watch the first 10 minutes, and if it's Resident Sleeper, we'll play Doom. And if it's fucking Pog Exciting Champ, we'll stop. ...and we're very psychic. We communicated through thought and emotion, much like how animals do rather than speaking or writing. Which would. Does he think that animals communicate through thought? I'm sorry, what? We lived primarily on a large string of islands called Lemuria, but there was a consciousness shift. We moved the up string in of islands called Lemuria because it Lemuria like a sank beneath the oceans. Ah. At the time of this shift, a new continent rose out of the waters. We called it Atlantis. Back in the early 1900s, the spiritual path of the United States was similar to what's happening today. People began to learn about meditation and study ancient lands like Atlantis and Lemuria. We actually found quite a bit of evidence that Lemuria existed. Probably mm. more important, they also found the crazy exact people are good at animation. That's from wild. The Hawaiian huh? Islands all the way to the Easter Islands. This is a great distance, but if you look at a map, you'll see a long string. That string, according to Thoth, used to run along the western shores of Lemuria. I hate how he keeps saying according to Thoth, which is this bird god. Same trees. Science can't I don't believe in Thoth, so why should I believe in this? Between these islands at one point. I yes. cannot prove, <laughs> disprove that a god did or at did that not time, give this info. There were about 1,000 humans at a very high consciousness, more than all of the rest. They were called the Nikals. Today, we know them as Ascended Masters. Oh, the Ascended the Masters. Began preparing Atlantis. <gasps> ascended Masters, the Ascended Masters. That's from that video, the All Gas, No Breaks. The Ascended Masters, the, the Republican goddess. I don't talk about no man. I ain't talking about Martin Luther King being killed. I would say Martin Luther King was Better than a great man. Merch. And I believe that he was an Ascended Master. And I ain't ready to talk about nobody that was dying. Rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. There was people who talked about the Ascended Masters in that. To be our new home. They projected their energies across the surface of the continent in the form of the Tree of Life. Not with 10 circles, but with 12. An extra on top on the island of Udal, and an extra on the bottom in the water. 
There were ten components on the So do people just make shit up and sell books? Surface, it was projected to the accuracy of a single I <laughs> yeah, 12, of course. Atlantis because of the Kundalini. That's humans, crazy. The Kundalini is often referred to as the energy serpent that runs up and down your spine. When activated, it provides an immense amount of energy through all this of the This is chakras. just wrong. The Earth itself it, also this has the Kundalini. Pissing me off. Alive, like this organism, is just horseshit. If we can assume that Atlantis was the first planet, 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 world, and we can assume that Lymeria went underwater, and we can assume that coral only goes at 150 feet, and A equals B, then B equals C. Pure spirituality for the last 13,000 years. It was a very pure place. Kundalini. I like years, the name Kundalini. I've been trying to think of a name for my Smurf. Let me write this down. Kundalini. <laughs> I think that's so funny. I would like to name myself Kundalini. <laughs> for another time. If you want to read more, check and out And then the if they ask me why, I can say because I've Vellano activated Kizide. the Serpent of Light. Suddenly, in a single day, the Nikals breathed life into the Tree of Life on the surface of Atlantis. This created vortexes of energy rotating out of each and every circle. Mm, yes, Once the is, vortexes is. were established, the children of Lemuria began to be called forth. Millions upon millions of Lemurians so many who had settled all across the planet began to be pulled toward Atlantis. A great migration began. However, the Lemurian body of consciousness had only reached the age what? of 12 as a planetary consciousness. Because we were right-brained, we were a female species, like a 12-year-old girl. And some of our centers weren't working yet. They had worked with these energies, but only mastered eight of the ten. To fill mm. these two empty vortexes, according to Thoth, two extraterrestrial races stepped in. Not one, but two I hate completely how different races. Too much of the first this is race were the Thoth. Hebrews, coming from our future. Thoth says that they came from... I misheard. No, 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 no. I, mi I misheard. I misheard. I misheard. I, I obviously misheard. I misheard. I misheard. Different races. The first race were the Hebrews, coming from our... Not one, but two completely different races. The first race were the Hebrews, coming from our future. Thoth says that... Hebrews. Yes, yes. Sorry, I didn't miss here. I just, I, I forgot. I forgot about when the Jews invented time traveling. I, I just forgot about it. It's very obvious. Very obvious that they invented time traveling and they came back on Thoth's word. They came from off planet, but we don't know where exactly. The mm. Hebrews were kind of like a kid who went through fifth grade and didn't make it, so they had to do that grade over again. They learned all the math, the left brain stuff, but they didn't get the right brain aspect of evolving consciousness, the doing. They didn't graduate to the next level of evolution, so they had to do it again. They knew a Damn, that's fucking racist as shit. You guys you hear that? Holy moly. Damn. Okay. A lot of things that we... It is where they would invent time traveling and struggle for centuries because they didn't understand the yoga. They didn't understand the flower child part. We didn't know the mm. other race that stepped in caused mm. big problems. These beings came from the nearby planet. This is propaganda towards children. This is trying to get kids to like fall for this cult and buy the books and go to the goddamn sex dungeon. This is not safe. ...of Mars. See, according to Thoth, Mars looked very much like Earth a little less than a million years ago. Mm -hmm, it mm -hmm. was beautiful. It had oceans and water and trees that you were just you fantastic. Go back to fifth grade, but something dumbass. happened to them, and it has to this do with scary. something called the Lucifer Experiment. From the very beginning of creation, everything the is simply Lucifer an experiment. experiment. Creation itself was just consciousness creating and inhabiting itself in that creation. There is no divine plan. Spirit can do whatever it wants. Having said that, if spirit decides to cut itself off from the rest of consciousness and create a separate reality on its own, it can do that too. This is called the Lucifer experiment. <laughs> Anytime the Lucifer experiment has been attempted in the universe, it always ends in failure. The species will cut itself off from love and will become incredibly male, left-brained. What always ends up happening is that everyone becomes very greedy. There is no compassion for one another and everyone ends up fighting until they end up killing themselves. More than a million years ago, the beings on Mars joined the Lucifer experiment yes, and it yes, failed yes, yes. dramatically. Basically, they cut themselves off from the unity of the universe and created a separate reality. When the Martians severed the love bond, they became pure male, logical beings with no emotions. What happened on Mars was that they ended up fighting. Mars. Be the fact that the male brain is logical beings with no emotion is such gendered horseshit. I gotta say. I gotta say, Hidden Narwhal. ...became a battleground. Now, we've been discussing the star tetrahedron before, and now I want to give you a <laughs> Don't brief take notes on of this. the Merkava. It is anti-Semitic and misogynistic, definitely. The Merkava was known definitely. in ancient times as the Chariot of Ascension. It is the star tetrahedral energy field around the body. Mm, All yes, around yes, the world, yes. there are references to this in ancient texts. When activated to its full potential, the Merkaba, which is both a tool and part of your being, can be used to do the impossible, included but not limited to changing dimensions and traveling through the universe. Before Mars was destroyed, they built huge tetrahedral pyramids. They built three, four, and five-sided pyramids, eventually building a complex that was able to build a synthetic Merkaba. <laughs> Face? Huh? Face? Face on Mars? What are we supposed to be getting out of this? I don't know. I don't know, After man. After a million years or so, it's been eroded, but the proof is there. About 65,000 <gasps> years Martians. in our past. 
They saw this little vortex sitting there, just pulling in life, with no one in it. They didn't ask permission. Being part of the Lucifer experiment, they just said, all right, let's do it. And they stepped onto that vortex, and in doing so, they joined and changed our evolutionary path. Thoth's father, Thome, was one of the Nicals who set up Atlantis on the island. You can't forget about Thome. Thome, son of Thoth. If you forget about Thome, it's like forgetting about Dre. You know what I'm saying? Hey, just go Thome if you forgot about Thome. That island, the top of the Tree of Life, was the brain of Atlantis, and on it was a small city called Poseidon. This city is what Plato was discussing when he said that Poseidon bore ten children, the ten circles on the Tree of Life. It's so simple. It's so simple. When Plato said that Clito bore Poseidon ten sons, he didn't mean that this mythological god had sex with a woman on Earth. He meant that Poseidon, the area of the island connected to Atlantis, had ten energy fields. A few thousand Martians who came to Earth through the synthetic Merkaba, the first thing they did when they arrived in Atlantis was try to take over the continent. They tried to declare war and invade. However, they were vulnerable due to their small numbers compared to the millions of Atlanteans, and we finally subdued them. We were able to... Did, did he say we? Did, did he say we finally subdued them? Is he an Atlantean? To stop them from conquering us, but we could not send them back. When this happened on our evolutionary path, we now had the planetary consciousness of a 14-year-old girl. The Martians were an incredibly male species and also very old. So what you had was a 14-year-old girl being taken over by a 60 or 70-year-old man. All right, that's enough of this. This is fucking weird, champ, dude. The fact that people believe this. Hey, actually, if any of you guys believe stuff like this and you want to talk about it, like, like I, I understand that maybe I come out here and I say, hey, this is dog shit stupid and you're dumb. <laughs> it... If you think this is real and you want to talk about it and you like literally just need someone to talk to, like I'm here, because I this is actually crazy. What do you mean future Jews didn't take over Atlantis? Yeah, I'm just I'm just telling you they didn't. I'm telling you they didn't. I I don't know exactly what happened thousands of years ago or millions of years ago. Actually, I feel pretty confident on what happened thousands, right? But millions of years ago, who knows? Uh, at the beginning, before the Big Bang, who knows? But I know that Thoth and Thome are not real. I know that the Hebrews did not create time travel and go back to Atlantis. I mean, maybe there's another event that they would have wanted to stop. It, if I'm Jewish and I have time travel, I don't think I'm going back to Atlantis, right? It isn't, it's pretty obvious where I'm going. I just burped out loud really loud and I opened my nine tails chakra. Uh, how do you come up with this stuff? Gotta be on drugs? I think it's just your really... Uh, you're really uh, malleable. There's a lot of people that are just lonely. And there's nothing wrong with being lonely. But if I'm someone who's lonely and I don't really understand the world, and someone speaks with diction and says, no, this is the obvious world. This is why you are X, Y, and Z. This is why you're more empathetic than these Martian men that are evil. This is why you are a chosen one. This is why you we are your friends and we are meant for you. It's very easy to get sucked into this kind of stuff. Uh, watch Lost Longest Largest Pyramid by Yes Theory? Maybe next time. I think we're good with conspiracy theories tonight. Uh, Alpha Rat's friend Joe is a professor and he farms the fattest dubs. I just, I want to stream though. I couldn't be a professor. Reverse racism is just racism? Yeah. But I think it's fine that it has like a modifier so people understand why it's racism. This is episode 12 of 37. Jeez Louise. Is it really? Oh wow, it is. Spirit Science 12. Alright. That's crazy. Hamilton song in the sideline? What do you mean? Is there a Hamilton song down here? 